What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, something that has been brought to my attention today that has honestly disturbed me, okay? And what y'all about to get is a lot of passion. And you're about to get a lot of passion because, quite frankly, I'm sick of it. And I don't know about y'all, especially if you are a uh, bisexual, lesbian, gay, whatever you want to call uh, the whole genre, okay, at this point. Because this, this is kind of like an a album or something. Being a lesbian is an album or something. You get what I'm saying? Being gay is an album, okay? It's so, like, <clears throat> dramatized. It has nothing to do with you or, or has nothing to do with anybody that isn't. Yeah. OK, so I just want to put this out there for one. We are going to get into the reaction about um, Ivy and her father, her father being Lil Boosie. Right. Lil Boosie. Now, Lil Boosie made a song. I don't know how many years ago when I was 17. I think I heard it in my first time. Uh, I got my B up in the room. I'm finna rip her apart. But my other B here, she going to eat her in the dark. Now they die. The n- had the nerve to say 95 percent. 95% women at that time with Lil Boosie, he said, was Dykin. Hello? And quite frankly, uh, did he not think that his daughter was included? See, that right there is a problem that I'm having. You didn't think that your daughter was included? You thought she would be omitted from that there situation? Because if you thought so, you were wrong. <laughs> Hello? Now... Here's my issue with Lil Boosie, right? He has been going on a rant for the last several years about being gay. I've never heard of so much gay passion from this man uh, who is not gay. In fact, he only has one child that is allegedly. Now, I think that he's having an issue with the fact that He can't control that, right? And see, he feels some type of way because he is in fear of one of his sons to be gay. Hello. But see, the thing about being gay is it's not something that you just wake up to today and decide. (laughs) You get what I'm saying? Oh, I want to be gay today. I think I'm a... I think I'm going to try that. No, no, no. It's something that's in you. See, y'all like to do science and and, um, uh, y'all like to put things together and and, and think it's hereditary and all that. It comes with the person. See, I can't explain it to you because there ain't no need for me to do so because I'm gay and I'm happy and I'm fine with who I am. See, but the problem is you're not. You're not fine with who you are. You're not fine with who your daughter is. And you're afraid that it's going to happen to your son. So you're projecting it on your daughter. You sorry piece of a man. And quite frankly, I am very much so upset about it, which does not matter because he don't care. He's already responded to her and said, you just taking it the wrong way. This girl has spilled her heart out to you literally and has so much respect for you when she said what it is that she did say. And all you got to say is you, you, you taking it the wrong way. How many times you got to call me out my name, sir? How many times you got to talk about my sexuality, which has nothing to do with you because you're not gay? Not only that, you called me. uh, (laughs) I mean, he almost said that she was contagious. Like she out here with COVID because she like women. Meanwhile, you were the one, sir, back in the day. All right. That let all of the lesbians know I'm one included. Yeah, get out of my way. I'm one included. That it was okay to be a lesbian. Two red bones kissing in the back seat. Girl, don't stop, keep going and relax me. You enjoyed it that much. It was relaxing to you? Are you running away from the old you or... I'm not understanding it because at some point it was relaxed. Oh, I forgot. You didn't think your daughter would be in that uh in that category, huh? That's cute. You know, I'm one of them ones that was trying to figure out like, oh my God, am I going to be gay? Am I not going to be gay? Am I going to stop me? Ah, la, 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 la. When Boosie came out with Dyke and everybody knew. If Boosie don't care, why should we? Hello? You bisexual, but it's cool. It wasn't a problem then, but it's a problem now. I don't understand. I don't understand that at all, actually. Okay? And then here is the last thing that I would like to put out. You said 95% 
of the women at that time was Zyka. Appreciate yourself, friend. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. I want you and your girl. Can I have both of y'all please beg for it? Anyway, girl, I'm so aggravated about that. I just had to put that in the beginning of this video. Let's get to her um thing. Man, I really don't even know where to start for real. Because Shouldn't even have to start. This ain't even my character. I don't really be lame man. getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, And it's it been about two years now that I'll I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to accept him mm -hmm. and love him for who he is. Mm. So, I just seen... He how how mature is she? <laughs> recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contaminating. Contaminated. And putting my siblings in it with that. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why, Ivy. He's scared for his other, your siblings, to be gay because of you. <laughs> if you know me, this shit make me so mad. I already know. If you know me. Look, take your time. Take your time. I love Appreciate the reset, friend. Hey, everybody. Brown with everything skin. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers, you don't want to let grow up. Hello. But okay. Wanna know why Ivy? He's scared they gonna be like him. He don't like that. I love how him and T.I. went out there and, you know, stopped them from getting them, uh, having guns outside the other day and all that. I don't know if y'all see it. Look on the internet, you'll find it. He stopped, uh, T.I. and Boosie stopped both of their sons from being outside with guns, obviously for a video shoot because they're supposed to be props. And y'all out there with registered guns and, gu and drugs, it's not going to go down how you think it's going to go down. But T.I. was so aggravated and it, it, it really bothered me. <laughs> because you too promoted guns, drugs, and money. Okay? I seen that on, uh, on, uh, what's, what's it called? I can't think of the damn, the damn movie, but. You mad that he doing exactly what you was doing. And it just seemed like T.I. always on the edge, like, stop doing that, King. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. When you're not realizing why he doing it, talking to him about why he doing it. Let's not forget you promoted it, though. Thing. Continue. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews, and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said you found out I was gay, that I like girls, and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. Hmm. I never addressed it. Hmm. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word. When you mm. called me a gay B word. So if the now you got to call out her name. Because she like women. And she grown. How did that affect you so much? Why are you affected so much? The world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before. And I forgave you. You wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, I'm your blood. Oh, God. 
I am your daughter. It's like, how can you do that to me? You sorry. Girl, this should be pissing me off. And me, I feel like I didn't been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. He and is. And it's like Blame it. the whole world can go against you. But I have won't. See, ain't, ain't no love better than your child. She already got to deal with what come with the gay shit. I already got to deal with what, the way of the world. And yo, bullying her too. Get the f this. <laughs> I'm so mad. Since I've been a little girl. I am so I never mad. I ain't, ain't my friend, ain't my cousin, ain't my sister, nothing. I am angry, okay? Go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. You are. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. I know my God from Nita, from my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. Mm. My mama put me in the church home. Mm. I don't recall not one time mm. I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to, to the Lord's house. I don't Sound like a hypocrite to me. <laughs> I don't never recall it. I didn't. I love to quote Bible scriptures when it's convenient for them. Never forget that. I didn't learn it from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Not even if it's you. you. Hello. You get what I'm saying? And it's, and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. Hmm. You gonna make sure your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. Literally. You suck, bro. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids mm. before you come to us and have that conversation. He done did about six... Hard to look in the mirror, ain't it, Boosie? Seven interviews about me being gay, right? That's a fraud, bro. We ain't not... Never have... He ain't never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana, and ask me... Why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What he keyword trigger? Know what that mean? Anything could have happened to her. She could have been violated by his family, their family. She could have been violated by his friends. She could have been violated from the mama side. Anyway, anywhere, and maybe not. But I just wanna. I wanted to make this video for some of y'all younger parents out here, cause our parents ain't got no hope. Sorry. Um, just ignorant as eh, 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 <coughs> ignorant. But to some of y'all, and I know, see, I have a 16 year old I'm taking care of. So I know a lot of y'all got 16 year olds too, and 14 year olds, and 13 year olds. If they come to you and tell you they gay, accept them. Please stop projecting your insecurities on your children. Boosie is insecure. He does not like the person he used to be. He's trying to change to another. His past keep haunting him and them kids ain't making it no better because it ain't nothing but a reflection of his self. Now, I don't know about this gay thing. I don't understand it. You gay or what? Because I don't understand why you so uh, 
engulfed and like infatuated with what's going on in the gay community. You clearly not infatuated with what's going on in your daughter life because if that's the case, you would be talking to her. But any of y'all with younger children, if you out here bullying your children, shame on you. I'm talking to you. How dare you bully your child because they feeling a way. How about you teach them another way? How about you figure out why? Y'all ain't no different than the niggas on the street. I'm f pissed. It's, it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all asking him, and he giving y'all them answers. If I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. Coward. You know what I'm saying? Not talk to her, but talk to the internet. Out of here. Saying, he don't, he don't, he don't. The things that he do, bruh. I would have never thought he would do. And it's like, I came to the point to where. Uh, yesterday, it just really did it to me because I'm like, bro. I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the green and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. Hmm. But it's like you making me do that. They huh. not even making me do that. You making me do that because you steady speaking on me. Hello. You steady. Like I would respect if you, if you just say just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? Hello. I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interviews, y'all will see. Anytime they try to make it like my daddy don't f with me or he this and that, I say he love me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't going to turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like. I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care he don't. about my feelings no more. He don't. You just don't care about my heart. Because you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're That's... entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I <laughs> take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of op opportunities have been missed. Because you are my father, but that's oh something God. I can't change. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like, I don't f with that anyway, because he don't f with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. Yes, who did? You know? Coy LeRae. Coy LeRae did. Because her daddy didn't want to respect her, so she didn't respect him. All y'all looking in the mirror. That's all you doing. You know what I'm saying? And with this music if you broadcast <sighs> my music the way you broadcast me being gay, Say it, I maybe I'll be further than what I am. Hello? How you promote me being gay more than you promote my music? I'm talking about, he in the comments talking about you taking it the wrong way. Boy, you threw. She was on your ass. When a child come to you respectfully, even if... No matter how old we are, our, our parents think we're children. That's fine. No matter how old you are, when a, when a child can come to you like that, respectfully, see, he threw that other daughter in the dirt because she didn't know how to speak to him because she, she ain't mature enough yet. This one, first of all, she's very, very, very uh, well-mannered and very good with her words. So good with her words. She told this man how she felt. I'm talking so respectfully, so bad that the nigga had to say, you taking it the wrong way. Because he really don't know what else to say. Aside from, he know he wrong. You taking it the wrong way. You calling me a gay bitch ain't taking it the wrong way. Like, what the f***? 111 in the chat. Taking it the wrong way after you call me a gay bitch? Oh, my bad. Uh, tell me something better. Like, are you serious? And then he don't ever want to own up to his shit ever. But you so worried about me being gay? 
You can't even see my, my true talent. No, he see it. He see it. It's a reflection of him and he hate it. That's the problem. And he, a matter of fact, if it was one of his sons, he'd be happier. But the fact that you a woman and you gay. Girl, don't get me started. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, <sighs> I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he gives me. It don't matter. And I barely even ask him for something. That's why I want, him, want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews. Because I want my own. I want my own and he know that. He know and, that, bro. And gonna get it. Like, that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You're not doing nothing. You're not supporting me like you should. And I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. Period. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing and I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. That's but real. there's no me. way I'm going to keep letting you speak on me and I'm not going to speak on you. There's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's f***ed up because the haters, like that's something I can be used to. Like they don't know me. They, they, they can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You, though, you, though, like, you know me. You my daddy. You don't you you, you, you don't continue to, to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do, do it to you. Hello. I ain't never done that to you. Hello. There's certain things what did I that do the to world you? would never know that I'll take to my grave for you. And you. Why you acting weird to me? She still taking shit to the grave. I would, too, because I ain't no snitch, but know that you know that it's certain things that i know certain conversations that you done told me certain hurtful words you done told me that that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you Whew. and you know this you know this bro but i'm really kind of disappointed that i had to come on here and do this and and i let it get to me like this but bro i feel like this is the only way I can feel better. And y'all probably say, why you don't call him? Why you don't go to him? Why he don't call me and come to me? Hello. Why he one, don't one, do one in the chat. So, with that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this. I, I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and join the YouTube channel. Ivy and Jordan. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. For sure. Be you. Because sure. you you. And at, at the end of the day, everybody is human. You human, I'm human, and he human too. If he don't know it. Hello. So, yeah. Oh. I'm back on the contaminating because why would you even say that? Hello. Like, <laughs> like you make it sound like I'm like ill or something. Like, nigga, what? Like, contaminating. If anything, you're contaminating. How about Hello. that? Hello. You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you been performing this since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on the stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is? Normally, I don't care. I don't get my feelings about certain things. This right here, y'all know it hit different because I'm lesbian. That's number one. Number two, I had to go through my shit as well. But number three... The way he talk about this gay thing and, you know, all that. 
I mean, he really, really take his time out. You, he, he took his time out to hit up, um, uh, what's his name? D Wade about his son, daughter, whatever. No disrespect. Like, don't cut it off, man. I mean, was so bothered by it, but not addressing what's going on with your own child is crazy to me. But anyway, I'm done with this video. I'm about to go outside. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I do want to give a message, though. If you around my age and you raising kids or whatever, you raising kids, and your child come out and tell you they gay or you see signs of it or whatever, talk to your child. Get out of the way. Whether you like it or not, that child going to be that child regardless. See, the difference is you either going to decide if that child going to be in your life or you going to decide if the child not going to be in your life. Your choice. But some of y'all some sorry ass I mean, nobody asked to be here. Y'all brought us here, <laughs> literally. And scared to own up to your own responsibility. And, and, and man...